Okay, for some crazy reason, my memory card ran out of memory. Well, that's not a crazy reason. I was talking too much, but anyways. Hi everyone, so today I'm finally back with an English video and I know it has been so long. It has almost been a year, I believe, since the last time that I uploaded an English video. So I'm finally back with one and I figured that I'd do an empties video because those are just slightly easier for me to film. And since it has been a while since I last did an English video, I figured I'd start out with something that's slightly easier. Let's start with one of my all-time favorite, favorite products, and it's also my number one favorite fragrance, and this is the Chloe Love Story, and this is actually my second or third bottle, 75 ml, and I go through roughly one bottle a year. This is my absolute favorite. Like, every time I smell this, I just get in such a good mood, and I'm just so used to having this scent on me. I absolutely love this fragrance, and I already have a small size repurchase because I am moving back home soon, so I don't want to have to bring so many stuff back with me. So I bought a small size in hopes that I'll finish it before I leave Savannah. It is this, and at a glance, um, I don't know if you can tell what this is because it looks like it's, yeah, it's all just Korean. And I actually bought this while I was at Korea, and for those of you who don't know, I actually get really bad cramps when I get my period, especially on the first and second day. I mean, they're better now. When I was younger, they used to be absolutely terrible. I couldn't even walk or stand up. What they are are their pads, and they come with this little pouch thingy, and you shake it up, and it heats up. And there's actually a scent to these pads. They smell like a bit like Chinese medicine. But one thing is that you're not supposed to use these while you're on your period. You can use them, I guess, like before or after, like or right before you know you're gonna have your period. I think that's supposed to help you with these kind of stuff. And it's also great to use when it's really cold outside. So it's like a heat pad, but with a pad, so it goes in your underwear. I feel like it helps me with makes my body warmer, which is supposed to help with period cramps when you do get your period. However, I don't know if they have this in Hong Kong, and they probably do by now, but just everybody loves Korean products, so somebody must have brought them over to Hong Kong and start selling them, please. This Laneige Water Bank Moisture Double Gel Mask, and I actually got this um, at the airport some time ago, but I recently finished it, and this is a box of Five, and to my surprise, they actually sell Laneige products at Target. I mean, I haven't actually seen them at Target, but I saw them on the website. This is an interesting mask because the material of the mask is not actually paper. I believe it's like jelly-ish. Well, it feels like jelly to me at least. And it comes with like a top section and a bottom section. What I like about this is that not only does it moisturize my skin, but it also doesn't leave it super sticky. So it's good for using like right before you apply your makeup, like in the morning, so then your makeup goes on better. These, I'm gonna show these together because they're from the same brand, just um, slightly different. Actually, I'm gonna show this first. This one is the, what do you call this? This is the Sexy Look Mask. And actually, Jessica gave this to me, and this is slightly different. This comes with the neck part. Well, it doesn't really reach my neck, but kind of like your double chin area, like under your chin. So I really like that because I feel like a lot of time we tend to neglect that area, whereas this is actually an area that sh begins to show, like starts aging earlier, but we kind of forget about it because it's just like right here. So then I think this is really great. Like the color of the mask, the sheet itself is actually black and it has like bits of gold in it, which I think is really pretty. And it's also really comfortable. It fits on my face really nicely. So, oh wow, my voice. So I'm gonna definitely ask where Jessica got this. I believe she got this for me when she was in Taiwan. So it was some time ago, but I'm gonna ask her where I can get this because I haven't seen this version in Hong Kong. Next up is also the Sexy Look Mask, and I just got this at Manning's or Watson's, I believe. And this is the one with the pink packaging. I mean, they all say that they do kind of slightly different things. Like, this one is supposed to, like, be whitening, I believe. To me, all masks does roughly the same thing. Most of them, to me, is just moisturizing. That's what I use it for, to keep my skin extra moisturized. In general, I do really enjoy these sexy look masks. One of my all-time favorite masks. This is the Leaders AC Dressing. This is my absolute go-to mask whenever I have one of those annoying pimples that are impossible to get rid of. Absolutely love this, and I actually have one or two boxes left, which is way too many. Um, I believe I showed the conditioner version of this in my last empties, but it was in Cantonese. This is the OGX Orchid Oil Fake Defying Shampoo, and 
Um, I really enjoyed this because first the color was pink and obviously I love pink but I wouldn't say that it works especially well for keeping color in my hair because I do use overtone at least once a week to keep that pinkish color in my hair for those of you who are wondering how I keep the color in my hair I do need overtone because colored hair especially with these like pink purple blue color that are dyed on to bleach hair they tend to fade quite quickly within like a month so to really keep them in you do need overtone when it comes to shampoos and conditioner I don't really go back to a specific brand or specific kind I can't think of one that I keep going back to as of now but if I ever do find one I'll let you guys know um, Vaseline Aloe Soothe Heals and Hydrates Dry Skin. So this is a moisturizer, but I'm actually not quite done with it, but I'm tossing it out because I've had it for a while and it's starting to smell a bit different. So I think it's going a little bad or something. So I'm just gonna toss this, but overall I really like this. I mean, vastly you cannot go wrong with them. It's another simple cleansing water, and this is my go-to, one of my go-to cleansing water in the States because obviously Bioderma is slightly harder to find. And also simple skincare. I have tried their moisturizers and like, I think it's like their day cream where it has SPF in it and I do quite like it because it is very good for um, more of Okay, so my memory card just ran out of memory so I had to make some space. But anyways, the lighting might be slightly different because I am using natural lighting. So I hope you guys don't mind, but let's continue with the empties. The Soap & Glory Sugar Crush energy boosting citrus conditioning fresh and foamy body wash so when I bought this I was expecting this to be a different scent it's citrusy with a hint of sweetness I'm not the biggest fan of the scent but I did finish it but I don't think I'm gonna repurchase this specific scent but I do really love soap and glory um, body products so I will try their other ones this AC do I believe this is from leaders as well oh no it's from Dewey Tree and basically it's their take on the Mario Badescu drying lotion and personally I thought it would be the same because it's I don't know it seems like a pretty easy I mean it's like a pretty easy product to kind of like copy but this does not work as well as the Mario Badescu one I personally like the Mario Badescu one better because I find it actually does dry my acne whereas this one I don't think it does quite the job so I don't think I'm gonna repurchase this and I know if this is just a box but I seem to have misplaced the actual bottle but next up we have this Peter Thomas Roth clinical skincare 24k gold pure luxury lift and firm hydro gel eye patches wow that was a mouthful and this lasted me roughly almost two quarters which I'm surprised I usually use them for my 8 a.m. classes to kind of well, deep puff my eyes, but my eyes don't really get that puffy. I'm starting to realize like sometimes my concealer does crease, whereas it used to never do that. So I'm starting to use these eye masks. So as for anti-aging, I'm really not sure, but they do give this like smoother finish. Like I realized after taking them off, you can see that their fine lines are obviously a lot. It's just my skin looks a lot smoother in general so that I really enjoy this obviously it doesn't make your fine lines go away forever you have to continue using them but for now these are good enough for my eyes is this maquillage brow pencil and I believe this is one of my first I've had this for some time now and this is my second or third refill of it but I believe they've actually stopped making it so I'm gonna have to actually toss this entire thing away but I do really enjoy it it's really easy to use this DHC lip cream I keep going back to this this is like my second or third one because people always tell me it's one of the best lip balm that they've used but personally I don't really like it that much I mean it's a good lip balm but well first the packaging isn't the cutest is in this pale peachy coral orangey color and the smell on this it's supposed to be I guess fragrance free but there is a scent to this I don't like. I think it's just the scent of the ingredients, but I don't really like the scent. But for some reason, I would repurchase this occasionally when I see it at Sasa. But anyways, here's another empties of that. Wow, I actually have a lot more empties than expected. Oops, no, last three products. So one of this is one of my holy grail lip product, one that I actually do like. This is the Elizabeth Arden 8-Hour Cream. I'm also not fully done with this, but as you can see, it's a pretty large... Ooh, I can't even open it anymore. I have had this for a while now and it's starting to smell a little different because once you open products you're supposed to finish it within like a specific period of time so I still have some left and as you can see it is actually like this orangey 
gel like that. The consistency is similar to Vaseline but it's a little thicker and it really helps with super dried lips. For those of you who are interested in this product, they do come in different packaging so it's not just the jar. I believe this is like a special edition or something because this was from some time ago so the packaging might have changed. They do come in like a little squeezy tube or like a slightly bigger hand cream size and I believe you can use it for anything. I actually tried to use it on my sunburn before and that was good too. It's like good for healing so yeah. This Chateau, I don't even know how to read this, Labiot, Labiote, I don't know. I can't pronounce this. I'm so bad with pronouncing words. But I believe this is a Korean brand. It sounds, the name sounds very French, but it's actually Korean. And this is their wine mascara. Okay, I just, I just, okay, I smell everything. It's weird. It's a good everyday mascara, but what I do like about this is that you can remove it with water. So sometimes when I don't have any makeup removing oil, I do really like this. So I think this is good for every day, but not really good on days that I want my eyes to really pop. But they are good for lower lashes. As you can see, the wand is actually bended. So this is a good everyday mascara, but not for when you're really looking for that full volume lash. Last but not least is another fragrance. We'll start and end with a fragrance. So this is one of the Chanel Chance fragrances, and I believe this is the newest or second newest one. It is the one where the fragrance itself is orangish. It's not your typical girly floral fragrance, I would say. It's, it's very sharp, it's very fresh, and it's the perfect fragrance to use for all my 8 a.m. classes. I just love using this, or whenever I'm feeling tired, I put this on, I feel like it wakes me up a little, and oddly enough, I didn't think a lot of people would be a fan of this fragrance, but I do actually get quite a lot of compliments whenever I wear this, so I've also repurchased this, and I actually repurchased the big version of this. To me, it's quite unique. It's also quite masculine. I would say that even a guy could wear this, maybe. This and the Chloe Love Story are so far two of my most used fragrances, because for those of you who have been watching me for a while now will know that I am absolutely crazy about fragrances I have a lot so when I finish a bottle it says a lot and when I repurchase it it says even more about it so I really do love these two fragrances so, so this brings us to the end of this empties video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you want more English video please give this video a thumbs up so please let me know what English videos you would like to watch and I'll be more than happy to film them for you guys I hope you guys are having a good day or a good night so I'll see you in my next video bye